Hey, this is Sabrina with Seventh Stream, and I'm going to show you how to edit a landing page uh, template inside of ClickFunnels. So what we're going to do here, since we are currently working on the How to Sell a House in Las Vegas ebook, we want to go ahead and find one of these landing pages that has an ebook look to it. Um, so this one actually has an ebook look, so I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. Okay. Um, that one actually looks really good here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that template. It's going to go ahead and load it up in here. It takes a minute. So while it's loading here, I'm going to go ahead and just hit edit page and that's going to take us right on the inside of the editor. So then in here, what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the things that you want to edit and we're going to go ahead and kind of customize this page to us. So I'm going to first adjust this image. I already have a pre-made book image here, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Now to upload a new image, all you have to do, um, so we clicked on the image, we clicked on this little image icon. Um, all you have to do is hit upload, and then from here you just choose your image from your computer. It's going to go ahead and load up in here, and then you just hit add image, and it'll pop it right into um, your editor here. Then you have your logo option um, just for now, because I don't think I have an up, a logo uploaded. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I don't have a, a current logo on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this text. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to say free ebook. And I want to change the color of this. I don't want orange. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little gear. And then I'm going to adjust the text color and I'm going to make it that kind of gray color that the book is. Then I'm going to go ahead and change this text to how, uh, whoops, how to sell your house in Las Vegas, the complete guide. And I'm going to bold the complete guide option. Okay, then you have a text here that you can also change. Um, I'm just gonna say access tips and tricks for selling your house fast. And I'm actually gonna say your Las Vegas home. And again, I don't want orange, so I'm gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna change that to that gray. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the button, but with the button, I do want it to be a different color than the rest because I do want it to kind of pop and stand out a little bit. Now, um, if you click on the button on the right side, you're going to have all your settings that appears. You're going to see a background color option. When you click on the colors, one thing that's really cool that ClickFunnels does have is a conversion color section. So these are colors that they have tested and measured and have seen to bring results on their pages. Um, so people, they've tested that you get a higher conversion using these colors than with any other. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, kind of dig in the yellow, but I wanna change the text color to black so that way it's easy to read. Okay. So we've got our kind of teal color and our yellow. Now on here you do have um, fields that you can edit. Now it by default has the name and the email, but it doesn't have the first name, last name, and email. So I want to go ahead and change that because I don't want just their first name. Um, you can play with this and see what works best for you. Um, sometimes you may get a higher conversion with just the first name. Sometimes um, it won't matter and you can just put in first and last and they it, it doesn't change. Um, for us, when we've tested it, it hasn't really made a difference whether you do first name or last name. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to first name. And then I'm going to go into this elements option at the top and I'm going to add a new element and I'm going to go to our form elements and I'm going to add a new input button because I need a new input for the last name. So I'm going to click on that option so it opens the settings. I'm going to go into input type and I'm going to go ahead and change that to last name. And you can see there's quite a few different fields in here that you can choose as well. Then you have to change the placeholder text. So I'm going to say enter 
your last name here. And um, you'll also see that the spacing is a little different. So I'm gonna go into this top margin section and I'm going to just space out the top margin just a little bit on this field. So that way that spacing is even, okay? So now on here we have our book, we have our text, then um, I need to adjust this first field and say enter your first name here. There we go, so enter your first name, enter your last name, enter your email, click to sign up. Now with this button, you wanna make sure that you set the action for it and that action is gonna determine what that button actually does. So we want to make sure that for this, it's set to submit the form, um, and that way it actually puts the client's information into your system. Okay, so that's the top section here. Then we can scroll down and edit um, B. So let's go ahead and put um, what you're going to get. Um, on any landing page or registration, you always really want to drive home what they are getting over and over and over again. Um, otherwise, the chance that they're going to register is going to be slim because they don't know what they're getting. So if you make that very, very clear of everything that you're, they're going to get, you have a higher chance of um, your page converting. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and change this image again. Um, I have an image in here that I want to put in, and I'm gonna do um, how to stage your home. And then you can put a little description on here. Um, then I'm gonna do this one. Okay, now these topics, um, I'm coming up with these topics and I would recommend you coming up with these topics based off of what you have included in this ebook. Now, um, we like to create ebooks based off of blogs that we've already written. So if we go over to our website here and I search for how to sell a house. You can see here we have our how to sell a house in Las Vegas. So we've got, um, let's see, is that the right one? Yeah, so how can I increase my home value? What are the costs involved in selling a home? Um, the average real estate commission when selling a house. So we can put all of that in this ebook. Okay, so then on here, if you want, you can include a quote at the bottom. This could be a quote by you. This could be a quote, um, by a client, and then you can change the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Lori's picture here. Okay, and I'm gonna say a tip from your local agent. And okay, so then in here, again, I wanna change the colors. I want it to kind of match our theme that we got going on here. So I'm gonna go into the settings and do that. Okay, and then you can do the same thing here. Okay, and if I want to, I can actually change some of this to, to that yellow color too and, and kind of give it an extra, um, extra pop if we want. So there's our landing page here. You can also edit the information at the bottom, copyright information, your logo. Um, but that is how to design a landing page using ClickFunnels. Pretty simple. Um, if you do want to add any other elements, there are a few sections up at the top. So you have a section, which are the larger chunks on the page, which is seen by this little um, kind of green color. Then you have rows, and the rows are determined by the blue outline here, and you can edit your rows, and rows are within the sections. Um, rows you can also have columns in. So this one is a, um, a blue row with a couple different uh, columns in it. So that's kind of where they go. So columns go inside of rows, which go inside of sections. And then the elements are where you have your images, your text, your buttons, all of that. So that is how to edit the landing page. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And thank you so much for watching.